I'm Grace Torrey, and you're listening to That Girl, the podcast. Grab a beverage of choice and settle in, because the new episode is starting now. Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl, Grace Torrey, and I am back with a whole new podcast episode. I am feeling today's podcast episode. I originally had a totally different idea, uh, but then I woke up this morning. It was 75 degrees outside today, which is not normal for February in Kentucky, like It happens maybe once a year, maybe, but it's been like a week probably of good weather almost every day, and I'm kind of shook, like global warming, yikes, but it obviously has me in a much better mood, so I thought that I would go ahead and do my Hot Girl Spring episode. You guys really enjoyed the Hot Girl Autumn one, so I'm kind of excited to do the same thing for spring. We're going to be talking about fun things to do to create healthier habits in the spring we're going to be talking about essentials and we're also going to be talking about some fashion predictions what i think is going to be the most like trendy i was spot on for fall so i'm really excited to see if i'm correct for the spring before we jump in it is march 1st i don't really have any crazy life updates just a few things so i'm gonna kind of get those out of the way and then i thought it would be fun to do a cool activity but before i do that In terms of life updates, the only thing I really have is my first collaboration. I was a guest on Vibin' with Vi, and that dropped today. I'm so excited. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed being able to go on someone else's podcast for a change. So I really hope that you guys check that out. I have it on my Instagram. You can get over there if you check out my story. Um, Also, what else? Oh, she's going to be on my podcast earlier this, or later this month, so you will hear from her soon, and I'm really, really excited for that. Other than that, let's jump on into our little activity. So since I didn't really have any life updates, and today is March 1st, I thought it would be kind of fun to set my intentions for the month with the goals that I want to achieve, and if you want to do this as well, you can pause after I say mine and kind of give you an idea of the structure you can say yours or if you really want to like send them to me dm them to me comment on my instagram what your intentions are for the month of march i would love to hear them and it kind of just holds you accountable when you say it out loud so that is what i'm trying to do so my intentions for march is first and foremost to get some answers on my health i do have a ton of doctor's appointments to very different doctors I'm not really going to explain too much to you guys until after I go. I know I've been keeping you guys up to date, but I want to kind of know the results before I tell you. So lots going on there. Another thing I want to do is fix my diet as well as my workouts. I feel that this will help contribute to my overall health and how I'm feeling. And I mean, like I can't really work out right now because of like being dizzy and stuff all the time, but I want to kind of do what I can to work up to that. I really want to focus on friendships this month and really cherish and grow the friendships I have, also make new ones. I really want to improve my mental health and focus on resk slash like rejuvenation. Did I say resk? I meant rest slash like rejuvenation and kind of resetting my mental health so that I'm less stressed all the time and kind of just like have a fresh start, clean plate and just be less stressed all the time. I know I say that all the time, but I think I'm really getting there. I also have one that is kind of weird when I hear it or when you first hear it, but let me explain. Act my age. So as you guys know, I'm 23. I'll be 24 in April. And Josh and I tend to act like old people. Like we don't leave our house. We watch movies. We don't go out. We barely see our friends. And it has gotten to the point that I like miss going out like I miss going to the bars I miss going to parties I miss seeing my friends so Josh and I decided that we will be doing that more so I'm really excited one of my friends is coming up to Lexington from my hometown on Saturday we're actually going out so I'm really excited for that and just to start acting my age a little bit more because you're only in your early 20s once and then responsibilities start coming like when we have kids and stuff it's gonna be a lot harder to go out and do things so I want to make sure we're really cherishing this time while we have it and I just don't feel like we are so that's a huge focus this month also being present my best friend's bachelorette is this month 
I'll be going to Miami, so we'll have some batch episodes for that. Um, and I want to be present for that. I want to be present when I'm hanging out with my friends. And it kind of goes along with mental health, just like stop worrying about things in the moment and focus on them as the time comes. So present is being present is really important to me. And lastly, getting more financially stable. Sis, you know I'm trying to get that bag and get my money right. So that is all of my things that I'm setting the intention for working towards the month of March. I will be posting my March vision board tonight. So you will see that definitely on my TikTok, probably on my Instagram as well. Um, that is actually, actually, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to post on my Instagram tonight as soon as I get it done. And it will probably be about an hour after I get this episode up and comment your intentions for the month on that reel. It'll be on my feed as well on Instagram. So at that girl, the pod, comment your intentions and let's put it out into the universe, you know, claim that energy as they say on the tickety talk. So with that being said, that's pretty much it. We are going to hop on in. And the first thing we're going to talk about is ways to improve. So the very first thing I put is go outside more for exercise. It is spring. We are getting into the spring. It is getting warmer. It is getting nicer. We have the opportunity to go outside and we really should take advantage of that. So from an exercise standpoint, point, you can just be active. Walk your dog, go hiking, go kayaking, go for a run. Obviously be safe about it. If you don't feel like you're in a safe area, please don't go running and say that I told you to. I want safe to be a number one priority in this day and age, but if you feel safe, you are in an area where you are comfortable doing that, do that, you know, go out with friends, um, things like that. From another standpoint, my second point is to go outside for leisure. So whether that's reading, having a picnic with your friends, journaling outside, meditating outside, getting a morning coffee and having that outside, going and getting ice cream with your friends and sitting outside to eat or eat your ice cream or have a meal. These are all ways that you can be outside for leisure. I know that I asked Josh for a hammock and I am so excited because I can just be outside. I can read. I asked for one for my birthday, but I also asked him for Taylor Swift tickets. The Taylor Swift tickets obviously take priority over the hammock because you know your girl wants to go see Taylor, but I would really like a hammock and I told him if he is not able to find any reasonably, reasonably priced Taylor Swift tickets, which he probably won't be if we're being real here, I, my expectations are not very high, um, that I would be fine with that. Oh, I also forgot, we're going to a concert this month, so that's another intention. I guess that's a way that we are acting our age, is we do have a concert at the end of this month. I totally forgot. That'll be really fun. Okay. Anywho, um, start something new. I like to call this spring cleaning your habits and replacing. So whether you're starting something new for the first time, or you are going through your habits and kind of mentally thinking of all the things you do in your daily routine and all the habits you have and saying, I no longer need this, this no longer serves me, taking that out of your routine, which is going to be hard, it's a habit for a reason, but then replacing it with something healthier, That this is the perfect time to do that. I personally feel like rejuvenated in the spring, I feel happier, I feel more energized with the warm weather, um, so I think this is the perfect time to do it. If you're going to do it, do it now, but also starting something new could be starting something you've never tried before you're not even replacing a hobby you just want to add something on i always use crocheting as an example because i like crocheting but that's just one example you could go to pottery classes you could paint you could I, all of these are artsy you could start running you could do so many things to start um, something new just do something that you've always wanted to try that is healthy for you it doesn't have to be like super healthy but please don't do something that's detrimental to your health because i told you to start something new I feel like I say a lot, I really want to support you with whatever your goal is. Like, that's the whole point of this podcast. But I do want to preface, like, if it's detrimental to your health, please don't do it. I don't want, I don't want you to do anything harmful. Consult me first. If we're going to take some risk and do some girly, silly, goofy things, at least consult me. Because I need to know the damage here, you know? Eat seasonally. This is a fun one because if you like to switch up your diet... Eating seasonally is something that you can do that is good for the planet. You're eating healthier because you're eating things that are grown and it's fun. You get to try new things if you haven't. So 
there's two ways to think of eating seasonally. You can eat what you think of health-wise when you think of the spring season. So for me, I think of like yogurts, chia seed pudding, salads, strawberries, fruit, very like springy. That's just springy to me. And I think that also falls under summer for some aspects, but those are very, very springy foods when I picture spring foods. So I may lean towards that, but there's also things that are seasonally common in spring. So I know strawberries start mid-May, so that's a little bit later, but that's just one example. There's fruits and vegetables that are in season in the spring. So those are definitely things that you can implement into your diet. Go somewhere new, whether you're taking a weekend trip from work, take one PTO day, or just go for a Saturday and Sunday, or you are going somewhere for spring break. This is such a good time to travel. I wouldn't go on spring break if you aren't going for the intention of spring break. Like if you don't want to go and be around a bunch of people going to bars that are in college and having the time of their lives, I would probably go at a different time. It's also going to be a lot cheaper to go places outside of spring break. But with that being said, um, if that's the only time you can go, if you're in college or if you just need to take Saturday and Sunday because you work and you can't get time off, you can find ways to travel. I know it can be expensive, but trust me, sis, if I'm going to Miami and Vegas within a month span, if I can do it, you can. Because, sis, I am broke as a joke. I'm over here stressing about water, the cost of water these days. Like, we'll be fine. I promise you, We, you can make it happen even if you have to drive, even if you're just going one town over and spending the night. I did that at one point. I used to stay at hotels in my city. I know. Um... I had a good reason my roommate had covid so it's not like i was just like lol i'm gonna go to a hotel when i have a perfectly good place i pay rent for no i didn't want to be at the house so like that was why but it gave me the opportunity to kind of be a tourist in my own home so that was fun and fresh really enjoyed that but yeah that's an example you also don't have to stay the night you can go for like a day trip we go up to cincinnati sometimes and that's like a day trip because it's in like, it's, like, an hour away, but we don't have to, like, pay for a hotel. So, yeah. Another one, <laughs> I just put tea party realness. I love the idea of a tea party. I may do that for my birthday this year, um, but tea um, parties are a good time, and I really recommend them. So, definitely do that. So, another one is spring cleaning. This one's kind of obvious. I know, it, but it happens. It happens. You need to clean. And what better time to spring clean than the springtime? Whether this is your house, just like your storage unit, your kitchen, and all the supplies you have, your closet is a huge one. Let's spring clean our closet, ladies. This is just like a big time for that. And it's really out with the old and in with the new. If we are being sustainable, we love a sustainable girly. I'm going to get into fashion trends for in a second and like what I think is going to be the vibe. But I think that thrifting is definitely in right now not that it matters if it's in or not you should thrift regardless but it's definitely trendy so that makes it a little bit easier to thrift um vintage is like kind of fun another thing i put this on my essentials but it's also like a thing to do i don't know if it's a way to improve your life but it's a fun thing to do farmer's market you have to go to the farmer's market any farmer's market go to multiple go every weekend I love farmer's market. It's always someone different. You're shopping locally. It's so fun. You can get your season, in season fruits and veggies. Love it. 10 out of 10. Get flowers for yourself. So I started doing this way before I met Josh. And we've been dating for two years. So that says something. Probably like four months before I met Josh. So a long time. And it kind of comes and goes. I don't always buy myself flowers because, like I said, I'm broke. But. <laughs> When I do, I try to do it as much as possible, and it really just is a confidence boost. I'm all about having self-confidence and loving yourself, and I feel like that's a really simple way to do it. It brightens your house up, too. It just, I love having fresh flowers in the house. It makes me feel a type of way. I'm also an earth sign, though, so maybe that's just me, but flowers and then like having some cute candles at night it's just a vibe i don't know i'm getting off topic but buy yourself some flowers it's the best time spring flowers are the prettiest i think personally so 
if you're in a safe place where you can do this, open your house windows. You don't have to open them all the way. Crack them. You don't have to open them in a room that you're not in. Be safe about it, but keep your windows open. Get a breeze in. Let that like natural air come in. Um, This is another one where like be careful with your AC bill. So don't do it for like hours. But like one thing I do is I'll cook with my kitchen windows open. And I just love that like feeling of being outside without actually being outside. So you can cook. Sometimes I'll read with my living room windows open. Like I said, be careful about it. You don't want to be running your AC bill up. And you also want to make sure you're in a safe place. But if you can, having your windows open is just it's chef's kiss especially if you can't go outside but you still want to be outside if that makes sense like I can't take my couch outside but I can open my windows and read on my couch with the window open you know another reason for the hammock I'm convincing myself more and more to get a hammock but you see what I mean so with that being said we're going to switch over to essentials So some spring essentials for me, this varies from like activities to fashion staples to food to fun things. I don't know, all the things. So to start us off, I love matcha with coconut milk in the springtime. I don't know why, it just tastes better in the spring. I feel like that is one of those foods or drinks that when I think of spring, I think of matcha. I don't know if it's the color of it. I don't know if it's the way it makes me feel, but I'm a big matcha girl. But it doesn't hit the same in the winter. I kind of like tend to drink kind of like, I don't know, like stronger coffee in the winter. And then like tea in the fall and matcha in the spring and summer. Is that weird? Am I the only one who like does that? I just realized I did that. Okay, anyway. Like I said, strawberries come into season in mid-wet, mid-May. Big strawberry girl. Love me some strawberries. Love them in my oatmeal. Um, I've also been a really big sunscreen girl lately, specifically on my face. Ever since I got off of the big birth control, um, my skin has been super dry. I think I talked about this at one point. So lotion and sunscreen have been my best friend. I don't know if you saw it on my Instagram. If you're not, follow me at that girl the pod, shameless plug. Um, but I love Gracie Norton. She's like one of my favorite people and she does a lot for hormone friendly items. And she recommended a skin tint that has 40 percent spf or 40 spf sunscreen in it so i just got that and i'm gonna try it out i'm gonna wear it in miami when we go out to like the bars and stuff but it's not gonna help because it's at night but i keep getting off track my adhd is well today um either way though it's got some good sunscreen in it so i'm kind of excited to try it out another thing is since we are in the spring i try to like reset everything and hit the ground running because i'm like oh my gosh it's warm out i have life again uh a new workout routine is really important not it doesn't have to necessarily be new but a structured workout routine like walking i love walking so like having a workout routine where i know that at this day at this time i'm gonna go because if i don't schedule it down to the minute i won't go so having a strong one that i know i'm gonna stick to Horse days at the barn. I love horse days at the barn in the spring and in the fall because the weather is perfect. I get to see my horse and I'm not dying of heat stroke, nor am I freezing and getting hypothermia. So it's just like perfect days to be at the barn. Uh, Like I said, my birthday is in the spring. So having some sort of time with my friends, like I always look forward to that dinner or party or whatever where I get to see my friends and have like a get together uh very essential very essential for me honey i love honey i love honey but like i like i said honey hits different in the spring it tastes i don't know if it tastes better like what the vibe is when i think of spring i do think of honey as like is that is honey a condiment it's a sweetener i don't know i just think of it and associate it with spring probably because bees and like spring i don't know big honey gal early mornings like getting up early and seeing the dew on the grass and just like it's still cold enough to have like dew and fog but it's warm out later i just love getting up early and seeing that and how quiet it is car rides with the windows down it is warm enough to do this and after a long winter in the cold having that car ride with the windows down feels life-changing and lastly for our essentials is gold jewelry i love gold jewelry i love it year-round but i just it's an essential for me i used to be a silver jewelry girl and then recently i like switched over and i can't live without it now but i feel like it's 
so beautiful in the spring and it definitely i don't know i just feel like it accents spring trends better so hint it's def it's on my list of fashion trends but i feel like gold jewelry trends every year so like i said that is my last essential we're transitioning over to fashion trends so the first thing i'm going to kind of talk about broad things that i think are trending and then i'm going to talk about specific items that i think are going to trend or are already trending so for the broad things i think that pastels so like light pink light green yellow light blue all the pastels with a bold accent color i'm really thinking orange um also creams and whites in terms of colors what is that saying like no white until after labor day i think that rule's broken we're all gonna wear white or cream it's just gonna be a did y'all hear that i don't know what was wrong with that vehicle but it 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 was loud we're all gonna be wearing white i don't know what it is either whether that's with the pastel in the accent color whether that's all white it's gonna be happening for going back to orange i don't know why i just see orange as such a big color this year i think it'll be bigger in the summer but when it gets a little bit warmer out towards like april and may i think orange is going to be everywhere whether it's paired with yellow whether it's paired with pink whether it's just straight orange i feel like it is going to be the color of the season i don't know why but it is you know it just i don't make the rules so One thing I do think that is happening is for the past couple of years, I think fashion has really leaned towards more traditionally masculine design. So people are wearing, not people, um, women are wearing jumpsuits and very traditionally masculine things, you know. But I think that we are going to radically shift to the opposite side of the the spectrum. And it's going to be very like feminine, fairy cottage core vibes that are going to trend next we are going to come out of that opposite like pants very i mean we really went towards like a masculine energy kind of like vibe traditionally masculine i'm not saying it's like masculine now but traditionally speaking things that were very masculine back in the day women were wearing and breaking down those gender norms and i think it was awesome and amazing but from what i have seen we are gonna go and be like we can still rock that feminine too and go to the opposite side of the spectrum very very dainty very very feminine very very what's a word for it like girl next door but not really it's almost like i don't want to say valedictor valedictorian that is not the word i was looking for victorian hints but not victorian if that makes any sense. So I'll I'll break that down later in a minute. But I think we're also going to still see preppiness. Preppiness followed us from last summer. It continued through the winter and I think it's still going to continue. Kind of like the 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 sweater I have on now if you're watching this, like the plaid uh designs and very like pearls and just like typical prep vibes like school, school girl skirts, headbands, pearl i said pearls already (laughs) you know what i mean that's the vibe i think that that's definitely still going to very much be a trend i think shoes are something that we need to watch because i feel like there's something new that's going to come out platforms may stick around but i don't think they're going to be around for very much longer and something new and exciting is going to come out that we have not seen before but i don't know what it is yet uh so i'm really excited for that and i think kind of just the words i wanted to kind of label this season trend wise are dainty and bold so some of it's very dainty and feminine but we also have that retro bold side of things that is going to make it really interesting i think it's a great time if you for like regardless of what your personal style is this is a great time because there's a trend for everyone so if you are more feminine there's that very fairy dainty cottage core vibe if you are more you lean towards more like casual comfy jeans you're gonna have like crop tops and jeans if you lean towards more bold and exciting i think retro is definitely coming back like a a mixture of like the 70s and the 90s so that's gonna be really exciting for you so i think that there's definitely something for someone out there that is trending right now which is just super fun so going down to the items I think that any floral patterns are going to be back in. So specifically on jeans and dresses, you know how girls have been taking jeans 
and then they'll put daisies on them whether that's bleaching them whether that's putting painting them or just like putting what are they called patches on them I think that that's very much gonna be coming back with a vengeance in the spring and I think everyone's gonna have some sort of jeans with daisies on them or floral patterns patterns on jeans in general are gonna be very big this spring and summer but floral specifically for the spring and then like I said just like floral dresses which I love I love floral I wear a lot of floral so like works out for me but I definitely see it coming back especially with dresses cowgirl boots cowgirl boots are big I live in the south so like maybe that's just like a southern thing but I definitely see them coming back and yeah cowgirl boots that's all I'm going to say about that uh hair accessories have been really cool like doing fun stuff with your hair so whether that's bows headbands pearl bobby pins cute barrettes pearl barrettes um same as last year but more I, like it was definitely a thing last year but I think it's going to be even more and with bandana scarves bandana scarves came in last summer and they're definitely going to be around for the spring people are crocheting them people are buying them they're fun that's definitely going to be around I think like putting clips in your hair all that that's still going to be around I just think that it's going to continue and we're going to see more adaptions of it and there's going to be more cute fads that come out revolving around that whether it's beads or what something's gonna continue with that so this is kind of hard to explain but like off the shoulder dresses that have cuffed short sleeves i don't know how to how to explain it but they are a thing and i've seen them everywhere and i think that they are definitely going to be a thing for the spring which i love them i want a hundred of them they are very cute uh sneakers and baggy high-waisted ripped jeans. Let's separate these. So sneakers are tried and true. I think they're still going to be around. I think specifically like adaptions of Nike Airs and like those types of sneakers are what's going to be most popular. A white shoe is always going to be great, but I think we're going to have pops of color in our sneakers, whether that's the orange or the pink. That's going to be a place where accent colors really shine. Uh, also, in terms of the jeans, if you're going to go for jeans, I think baggy high-waisted ripped jeans are the move. They're so cute. I think they're still going to be in style. I think they're great. What are they called? Are they called mom jeans? They might be called mom jeans. They're the they're staying, basically. I also think that white jeans are going to be back. Sorry, girlies. I know we all collectively thought we got rid of white jeans because they are so uncomfortable. They make you stress, but I think they're going to be a trend. So tank top style cropped tops, whether that's spaghetti straps that just kind of cover your boobies and then have a very open back or whether that's high neck crop tops that have tank top sleeves, they're all coming. And I think this is more of a like tomboy type style. It's going to be like with the sneakers and the baggy jeans, but I'm really excited. I need to learn how to crochet these tops because they are very cute. I am very excited. It's almost like a castaway vibe for the spring this year. It'll definitely be more in the summer, but I mean, it's partly probably influenced by Outer Banks like style, but that like those tank tops and then just very like crocheted, like beachy tops that are like tank tops, like I said. Gold jewelry. We already talked about that. I think gold is just pretty in the spring. I don't know what it is. It just trends better and like i said retro patterns on skirts tank tops etc fun patterns that bring in that orange bold uh triangles squares circles all the fun retro patterns we saw in the 70s i think they'll be back and they will be having a moment i've seen go-go boots come back too i don't think they'll be like a trend but i have seen them come back and i kind of want to get up here and try them out but then i'm also like girl you need to commit to leaving the house more first. Like, I literally don't leave. So why would I, why, you know? Clothing with bows on it. Pretty much anywhere, the bow. The bow can be a little bow on the front of the dress. The bow can be a tie on the back of the shirt. But I think it's spe specifically going to be on tops and dresses. But it will be bows on everything. Rain boots. I'm excited for this one. Love a good rain boot. Yellow rain boots. I think dark green will be fun. Um, pink rain boots. Any color rain boot. I think hunter boots will be back they'll be back do we remember those i remember those and they're coming back 
just like with dresses though i can see rain boots and like dresses with like a rain jacket that's so cute khaki stuck around khaki pants and i think khaki like mini skirts are going to be coming in i like khaki i don't have any khaki i went to a private school in high school so we wore khaki pants and khaki skirts so i'm like all khakied out but you go off and if i get my tummy looking the way i want it i'll probably try some khaki with a cute crop top but we gotta get those ab muscles first you know what i'm saying space buns either low space buns or high space buns space buns are coming back they were in and then they left and i think they're coming back again whether it's a braid into a space bun or just a plain space bun these are coming back with the warm weather on that same note braids all kinds of braids whether it's a couple braids in your loose hair whether it's fishtails two braids on the side of your head braids into space buns um all kinds of braids i think we're gonna take take it up a notch and it's gonna be like more complex braids or it's gonna be just the couple of braids in the hair that kind of gives off that island castaway look you know but braids in terms of makeup i think we're really gonna continue the no makeup glow that has been going on natural is just really in i hate to say it because you guys know i lead the cat liner brigade like cat eyeliner those little cat eyes that's my jam has been my jam since i was emo in like ninth grade it's out i think eyeliner is going out the only people who i still see wearing it are either at an award show and they have a bunch of makeup on with it or it's someone like who doesn't really it's no one who's starting trends let's say that so i don't think that it will 100 percent be out because we're not going to let it go out but it's not going to be trending so I don't think it's trending anymore. I think the thing that's in right now is lashes, like getting your lashes done, having big lashes. That is what's in. So RIP, I think that it will definitely come back. But for now, we're kind of taking a back burner on eye makeup, period, unless it's very natural and you can't even tell it's on. Yeah, uh, this kind of really sounds weird, but hear me out. Um, sweetheart necklines. Or tops and dresses where the boobs are the focal point. However, they're still modest. So your boobs aren't like hanging out. It's not like, you know, very exposed. But your boobs are the focal point. So whether that's a sweetheart neckline or, you know, a dress that comes down low but not super low. Something that complements your boobies that isn't showing them. I don't know why, but it's been in. And I've been seeing it in the shirts, in the dresses. And I'm like, wow. I need to find a bra for that <laughs> so i'll let you know i'll let you guys know if i find one that works for this vibe but it's coming another thing that kind of sounds weird but it makes sense i'm trying to explain it is denim shorts that kind of look like jeans that were thrifted and then cut like straight across with like scissors so yeah they just look like someone got them from the thrift store took them home cut them across there's not any rips there's not anything crazy they're kind of high waist. They're usually high waisted. I think those are in. They're kind of like mom jeans that were cut off. They're they're definitely in, and they're cute. I I I don't know if I'll get a pair, but I do appreciate them. I think longer casual dresses and skirts will be in, and for the dresses, they're usually like tight around your chest, and then they're very like straight down, and the skirts are very straight down. There's they're very simple. There's not a lot of hem work that's done. They're very, very simple. I don't know how else to put it. They may be fun patterns. Usually they are fun patterns or they're like silk or a pretty color, but they are very simple aside from the ruching around the, the boobies or something like that. It's very, very simple. Maybe a cuff for the sleeve, you know, maybe. This one I've seen everywhere and everyone hates it, but it is trending. It's coming for nightlife specifically, like that club life. Uh, those lingerie looking like nightgown dresses you know what i'm talking about they literally look like lingerie they have lace with like a v kind of cut top and then like a little slit on the bottom that has lace on it and they look like nightgowns but they're not they're dresses those are in and i don't know i kind of want one and then i kind of don't because i don't want it to look like lingerie but i've seen a few that don't 100 look like lingerie they kind of lean that way though Lip gloss is back. I think that's the one thing that's not super natural that is on makeup, you know, makeup wise. Uh, appreciate it. Don't know if I'll be a lip gloss girly. I got too much hair and it gets in my mouth too much and like it'll stick, but you know. 
And then the last thing on my list of fashion predictions slash things that have kind of already started is those little small purses. You know what I'm talking about? The little Prada purses that are like handbags that you put on your shoulder and it's just like there and they're kind of rectangle. Those are in. Those are definitely in right now. And they will be in the spring. I think that'll be a fun way to accent your outfits with fun colors. And I kind of want a black one, honestly, for like going out and stuff. Because they're very cute, they're very compact, and they look like a good time. I don't have one. So, yeah, that is it. It looks like my laptop's about to die, which my mic is connected to, so I really gotta go. But I appreciate you guys checking this out. Let me know on my reel that I'm gonna put up what your intentions for the month of March are, what your goals are, what you intend to get done. Uh, I really, really appreciate you guys so, so much. You mean the whole world to me like literally the entire universe. If you haven't already, don't forget to follow, subscribe, like, all the fun things. If you don't mind leaving a rating and review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, it takes about 2.3 seconds and could change my life. It's got one review skyrockets your podcast, so please help a sister out. I will uh, shout you out. I'll put it on my Instagram. So yeah, leave your Instagram in the review and I'll put it on my Instagram. So fun, so fresh. Speaking of that, if you want to share the podcast on your Instagram, tag me and I will, you know, share it. Simple as that. Um, we are a community of girlies who are all working to become our best version of that girl. So whatever that girl means to you, that is what we're working on doing. And by sharing, you're helping us grow that community to find more girlies who need a support system like us. So Thanks for finding us. I'm so glad you found us. Stay a while. Do you guys hear my dogs rioting in the background? That is wild. I don't know if you heard that. I just heard like tumbling. Oh, well. Wow. Okay. Other than that, if you're watching this on Wednesday night, I hope you have a great night. If you're watching this on any other time of day, I hope you have, or any other day, I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or night. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you in my next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.